me ask you guys, is there a time that it's too late to mow? I don't know. I sure love it though. So who knows? What do you think? Leave me a comment below. When should you stop mowing? What's up YouTube? I'm gonna be doing another striping video of the backyard. I'm gonna try something a little different here because this might be one of the last mows of the year for me. But I think I'm gonna go with a cross pattern back here. So let me show you what I mean. So to get the cross pattern, I'm gonna have to mow an angle this way and then come back a second time and mow this way. So I am gonna have to do a double mow. Probably won't be spending much time out in the easement. In this area right here, I got standing water from all the rain that we've been getting lately. So all my mowing will be done back here in the back. Enough talking and let's mow. Let's go. So back here in the easement, these are the low spots that I keep telling you about. They kind of hold water in the fall time. It's not hot enough to evaporate the water. It just kind of sits there on the surface. And really my only option, because there's a gas line in here, is probably to backfill it. And that'll probably be something over the summer. But you can see out there how it just kind of sits. And behind me here just sits. Um, so it's kind of annoying because I want to be able to keep it looking nice, but I have just a low spot down here and uh, the gas company will not let me dig anywhere over the gas line that's running back here. So safety thing, I understand. Won't be digging out there. So I just finished my first cut. And I only had to dump the bag once, which is what I would expect at this time of the year. All right, so here's what I'm looking like after the first cut. I think they'll look pretty good considering there's hardly any sun back here. And it's about five o'clock right now and it's getting dark quick, but you can see the stripes turned out pretty well this direction. So now I need to lay another set going the opposite um, to get a nice checkered pattern back here. So that's what I'm working on next. Let's do it.
So this was the second pass, the second set of lines. And then when you get to a certain point, you'll notice that it'll change into the diamond pattern. All right, hopefully you can see the pattern back behind me. This is a double diagonal cut in my backyard. I think it turned out great. I think I see some diamonds out there. What do you think? Oh yeah, baby. Late fall stripes, hardly any sun out right now. And you can see those patterns. <laughs> 